YouTube, YouTube, I felt like doing some player stats. So, before my draft number 8 on Friday, here's some players and some stats I think you might need to know about them. Caleb Williams, mental toughness. Let's see, we got Drake May. Better in pro system, 81% pass grade, 3,608 yards, 29 touchdowns, 9 interceptions, 75.1 adjustable completion percentage. He can move in the pocket. He can throw on the run. He can make plays with his legs. He can do a lot. Tends to hold on to the ball a little too long. And, uh, yeah. He hasn't been in a college... He hasn't played like four or five years of college ball like uh, Jaden Daniels and, you know, Caleb Williams and such. But he is going to be a very good prospect. I think I think he's going to be a really good player. Next up, we got Jalen, Jaden Daniels, Heisman Trophy lip, uh, winner. Heisman Trophy winner, winner. Keeps eyes downfield, does well with accuracy on throws 20 plus yards. Only player in uh, college football with 12,000 career passing yards and 3,000 rushing yards. 60% completion rating, rating, 19 passing touchdowns, 0 interceptions of throws of 30 of 25 plus air yards in 2023. Let's see. Who else we got? Let's see. Let's do Mark Harrison. Great uh, Mark, uh, Marvin Harrison. Great body control, good catching abilities, and a great round uh, route ru route runner. Blah. Roma Dunze. Pause to take a call. Roma Dunze. Speed, length, great after the catch abilities. Ninety two receiving catches, one thousand six hundred thirty nine yards. <laughs> <coughs> 13 touchdowns, <coughs> 14 forced missed tackles, explosive out of his breaks, and explosive out of his breaks. That's all I got for him. All right. Who we? Who else do we got up here? Let's see. As I'm dropping stuff. We got... Malik Neighbor, he can play in any formation. He's a slot outside, big play ability, explosive in and out of his routes. J.J. McCarthy, 87.9% passing grade, 2,991 passing yards, 22 touchdowns, 4 interceptions, 88 adjustable completion percentage, he wasn't overly productive because of look at the system he was in. Michigan didn't run much. How about Joe Alt from Notre Dame? He can play left or right tackle. He can get moving to the second level. Allowed just 16 total press pressures and more than a thousand pass blocking snaps. 1,600 snaps at left tackle in 2023. How about Dallas Turner? 55 pressures, 26, 26 defense stops, 11 sacks, can play all formations, stand up in three stands, 4.48 in the 40. Bendy, lengthy, and this first step is a monster. Let's see. Uh, Talicia Fawagu. Oregon State allowed 13 pressures and no sacks on 351 passing snaps. Good movement skills, powerful. Is he the best pass protector in the draft? That is my question. In fact, I'm about to put that up as a question as soon as I get done with this uh, this video. Uh... O.L.U. Vashano from Penn State started just 21 career games, allowed one sack in that time. His 40 was 5.11. Talked about McCarthy. <laughs> Let's see. Who else we got? 
Who else would you get? Oh, yeah. Yeah, let's go with uh, Michael Penix, the guy that used to play for my Indiana Hoosiers. Has the arm talent. Has the arm talent. 90.5 passing grade. 4,906 yards. Okay. 35 touchdowns. 11 interceptions. 74.5 adjusted completion percentage. He has huge hands, but he has two ACL tears. And with that, we take a smoke break. Uh, let's go with Jared Verse. 60 pressures, 24 defense stops, and 11 sacks. Nasty, right? Nasty, nasty, nasty. I think that's about it. Do we got more? Oh, yeah. Jackson Power Johnson from Oregon. Here we go. Best interior player in the draft. Can acre a O-line really good? That's all I got for him. <laughs> J.C. Latham. Latham. 77 run block. 77 run block grade. 81.7 pass block grade. 14 pressures allowed. Flexible hips and can get low. Let's see who. Uh, let's see. Amarius Mims. I think he's the one that has the less. Uh, productivity as an offensive lineman. He has ankle issues where he had tightrope done. Um, athletic, powerful, two pressures, no sacks on 168 passing snaps. Overall, 74.8 overall grade. 68.4 run, run block grade. 78.8 pass block grade. Tightrope surgery, hip placement, and needs work. Byron Murphy can play over the nose. 4.8840 dash. And we're going to take balls on that one. But that is all that I might have so far. Nope, I got Kool Aid. Kool Aid McKinstry from Bama. Physically. Good in man coverage, 87.8 cover, coverage grade, 83.0 run defense grade, 10 forced incompletions. Pass coverage over 200 snaps, 43 passes on his side. Oh, I still got more here. Adonis Mitchell, wide receiver from Texas. 55 receiving catches, 845 yards, 11 touchdowns, good hands, very good route runner, needs more muscles. Tyler Guyton, Sooner, offensive, offensive tackle, foot quickness, he can sink, fires off the, off the line, 12 pressures, no sacks on 355 passing snaps. And I think that might be it. Chop Robinson had a 4.4840 dash. And that is it. So hopefully you guys will go over some of these players. Again, uh, this Friday will be mock draft number 8 with a lot of trades. Check me out on Twitter, which is Girls Advice and Views of, of, Girls Advice and Views of Fantasy Football. And check me out on TikTok, which is Vet Fantasy Football. Peace.